So your through scission and your two macrocosm, the third encounter within the Root of Nightmares raid. In this encounter, you're gonna notice there's a bunch of planets scattered around the room. To best show you how this works, I will put up an overlay that was done by the Danger2468 on Reddit, and thank you for doing that. In this overlay, you're gonna notice that there are four plates that are on the right and left. In other words, two on the right, two on the left. The dark is on the right, the light is on the left. You'll notice each of the plates has three planets on them. I will get in later how you can call those out to your fire team during the encounter, but for now, just imagine that there's three. They're like a triangle on each of those. There's also in the middle, there are plates. These are the plates that you're gonna be doing DPS from later in the encounter. There's also three additional plants in the middle, but we'll go over those in a second. You're gonna to wanna to split your fire team into these groups, into two people who are doing ad clear and four people who are gonna be runners that'll run from one side to the other of the room. As far as where the groups are located, what I would do is I would have each of the runners on each of the plates, right? One on each plate. And then the ad clear people, it just depends. Wherever your team feels comfortable and potentially where people are struggling with clearing ads. There will be a lot of ads in the middle, so you could be in the middle, or you could be on the plates of some of the people if you need to help them kill their heavier enemies. You're gonna clear out waves of ads in the middle and ones that are coming onto the plates. When you do that, Centurions will spawn. You have to kill the Centurions. Once you do that, there will be four Colossus that will spawn in each of the plates, one on each of the triangles. When you kill Colossus on your side, you'll be able to see the polarity of your side's planets, which ones are dark and which ones are light. On each of the plates too, if you're in the dark side, you're always gonna see one planet that is light. If you're on a light side, you're gonna be see one planet that's dark. Your goal is, is to get those planets to switch sides so that on the dark side, you have only dark planets. And on the light side, you have only light planets. So what you're gonna do is, and there's multiple ways to do these call outs. I think if you look at this overlay, if you're an LFG group, this is probably the easiest way to remember things because it makes it very simple because you know which plate it's on and which position it's in. Alternatively, players have used numbers, like numbering everything through one through six. I ran a group that ran everything one through six on left and right with the odd plates being inside, so like three and five being on the inside of each of the plates. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter which way you do it, just whatever is comfortable your fire team. So in that case, then what you're gonna do is for the person, let's say you're on the dark and you're gonna go pick up the one that's light that's on your plate. You're gonna run all the way across. The person who was on the light side is gonna tell you where to deposit it on their side because it's where they picked up their buff. They're gonna come over and deposit their buff on your plant you started out with. You're gonna do this both on the top plates and the bottom plates. Once you do this, the plants will switch. If you've done that correctly, an indexing mode will start where you can actually get closer to a DPS phase. Now again then, you're going to have uh, Centurions and Colossus spawn in the middle. When you kill the Colossus, you'll be able to see the polarities of the planets in the middle. At that point, what you're going to do, you'll see like it's two light and one dark, or two dark and one light. What you're going to want to do in this case is you're going to want to have people go and pick up buffs from any random planet that corresponds to that. So just go to two dark planets, for instance, and go to one light, pick up their buffs, bring them to the middle. If you do this correctly, it's gonna start a DPS phase. So the DPS, you'll notice the boss. The boss will turn, this is very similar to the mechanics within Garden of Salvation. The boss is going to turn either dark or light, okay? During various phases, you'll notice three plates. Those plates will either be two light and one dark or two dark and one light. When the boss, again, when it's not changes, again, you'll see him if he's light, Jump on a light plate, wait until it, you know, wait until you see him change. Jump on that plate and just wail on him at that point. Then, similar to Caretaker, um, he's going to either change, he's going to say the same color or change to a different color. Jump to the color of plate that corresponds to that. There'll be three total plates you get to do DPS on. Once that DP, once those three plates are done, you hop off. And that's a run of one of the phases of the encounter. Like most raid encounters, you have three that go up to an enraged mechanic if you don't get in there you wipe all the other activities work the same with exchanging plants and everything like that and then the very end you're going to get to a last stand during the last stand you're going to have three plates be able to do damage on the trick here is is as you're doing damage he at the very end of each plate is going to put like a fire attack that you need to get off quickly think about similarly what callus when callus would fire the gun when you're in leviathan very similar to that but then at that point finish him off you're done with the encounter Couple notes, 
Um, you know, as far as damage, obviously rockets currently work good. Is it Nagi's Burden? You can save your Outbreak if you run out of ammo towards the end. But the damage isn't too bad in this encounter. The biggest thing is just being able to communicate and to be able to be survivable as you go across, especially in contest mode, as you're trying to get those buffs from one plant to the other. That's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you going to the tower.